let's look at the indicators of going concern problems like what are those things that show that the entity may have uh, problems continuing its operations in the future so events or conditions that may cast significant doubt on the going concern assumption in accordance with IAS 570 so they are divided into three we have the financial the operational and then others so we shall start with the financial things relating to money so the first one is a net liability or net current liability position like in case uh, the liability position of the business is not good yeah it shows that it may have problems continuing to operate in the future in case they're having very many debts then uh, another one is a fixed term borrowings approaching maturity without realistic prospects of renewal or repayment or excessive reliance on short-term borrowings to finance long-term assets like uh, when the business has a loan but it does not have any plan of paying that loan or they are not planning to renew it or something like they just do not have a plan of how they are going to pay its debts and when they are relying on short-term borrowings to buy assets for the business yeah, so that is a condition that shows that the business may have uh, problems continuing its operations in the future then another one is uh, indicators of withdrawal of financial support by the creditors in case the people who have been uh, supporting the business maybe by giving it goods or services on credit they stop doing it it shows that they're having a problem somewhere then another one is uh, negative operating cash flows indicated by historical or prospective financial statements in case the cash flow statement shows that the outflows are actually higher than the inflows it is an indicator that the entity may have problems operating in the future then um, adverse key financial ratios when financial ratios may be reduced yeah then um, another one is substantial substantial operating losses or significant decrease in the value of assets that are used to generate cash flows then another indicator is areas or discontinuance of dividends in case the entity stops paying dividends of um, the shareholders or in case they delay like they pay dividends after two years it is an indicator that it's having problems then another one is an uh, inability to pay creditors on due dates. Like they can't pay the people that are demanding them when the debt is due. Then inability to comply with the terms of loan agreements. Like if they can't do what the loan givers want, talk according to the loan agreement, it shows that there is a problem somewhere. Then another indicator is uh, the change from credit to cash on delivery transaction with suppliers in case the suppliers that were allowing the entity to take goods or services on credit they change and they want cash on delivery it shows that there is something there is a problem somewhere then uh, lastly under financial is the inability to obtain financing or essential new development product development or other essential investments like in case they cannot be able to finance something new something that they want maybe they want to develop a new product or a new investment but they don't have money to do it so it shows that they're having some problems then we come to the operating indicators first is that management intentions to liquidate the entity or cease operation in case management has that thought of closing the business anytime soon it shows that they're having problems then loss of key management without replacement in case key people in the organization keep leaving one by one and then they are not replaced 
Then uh, another one is a loss of a major market or key customers, franchise, license, or principal suppliers. In case they keep losing something, they lose their major customers, they lose their major suppliers. It shows that there is a problem. Then labor difficulties whereby they're finding it hard to keep employees in the organizations. Employees are ever coming and then going, stuff like that. It shows that there is a problem. Then another indicator is the shortage of important supplies. Like in case they cannot easily get the key materials that are supposed to be used. It shows that there is a problem. Then uh, emergency of a highly successful competitor. In case they are facing competition from someone new in the industry, stuff like that. So let's look at other indicators that are not operational or financial. First is a non-compliance with capital or other statutory requirements. For example, capital for banks. In case a bank is having less capital than it's supposed to have, it shows that it's having problems. Another indicator is pending legal or regulatory proceedings against the entity in case going court cases. It shows that there is a problem and that court case can affect the going concern of the entity. Then uh, another one is changes in the law or regulation or government policy expected to adversely affect the entity. Like sometime back when they said all polythene bank businesses should close. So in case there is any change in the law that can affect the entity, it shows that the entity is likely to have going concern problems. Then another indicator is uh, uninsured or underinsured catastrophes when they occur. In case uh, the business premises catch fire and then they were not insured or they were underinsured, it means that the entity is going to spend a lot and it has made maybe a huge loss, so it may have problems continuing its operations in the future. Then lastly is uh, consider mitigating factors, things like... Uh, raising cash by disposing of assets, rescheduling loan repayments in case they're doing things like, uh, in case they want money to use in the business, they have to first sell something. It means that they're having money problems. Then in case they are rescheduling loan agreements, like they request the creditors to help them extend the loan repayment period, it shows that it may have problems continuing its operations in the future. So those are the indicators or significant events of going concern problems. Thanks for watching.